Sweet. That one's good too. I yeah, like that one. Good. All right. What's up guys, my name's Adam. Today we're here at Skis and Bikes in Mississauga. We're up in the office and we're doing a couple preview shoots for next year's 2022 product. Today we're gonna to be looking at the Burton Process. This board is extremely well known and is a bread and butter staple point in the lineup, written by many pro athletes. One name, Mark McMorris, just to name one athlete. From there, we've got a lot of great features that are going to allow this board to work for the most accomplished rider or someone who's just starting out and wants their board to last them a long time. The first thing that we want to look at is the most important, which is profile. So this board is going to come in two different profiles. First one being pure pop camber, which is what we're looking at here today. The pure pop camber is going to have a lot more camber than the Flying V version will. And this is going to give you a lot more edge hold, a lot more pop, and just giving a more lively feeling overall to the board while you're carving or finding those great side hits that everybody loves to pop off of. If you're looking for something a little bit more versatile, a little bit more confidence inspiring, you can look into that Flying V, which is still gonna have elements of camber, but is gonna add a little bit more rocker into the profile too, which is gonna make the board just that little bit more forgiving and a little bit more versatile as well. The bend of the board is a true twin. So what that means is that the board is gonna flex symmetrically from tip to tail giving you confidence wherever you're riding at whatever speed. When we're talking about the backbone of the board, Burton's using the Superfly 2 core, which is gonna come in at about 700 grams. The way that Burton does this is they use a lighter and stronger wood that's gonna give you a lot more power to the edges. From there, at 600 bucks, Burton's giving you a stintered base as well. That stintered base is an upgrade from those lower end models that use those extruded braces that don't give you that excellent speed that most guys are looking for when you're flying down the mountain. So stintered base means winning. From there, if you're looking at something that's gonna be somewhat comparable to this, but in just more of a directional shape, you can always check out their skeleton key. It's coming in at about 600 bucks as well, and it's gonna give you just that different sort of riding style. Thanks.